Okay, it is Thursday, April 16th, day after tax day, and I thought I'd screwed up by trying to feed these guys a day early. Uh, I did try to feed them a day too early, but it wasn't as big of a screw up as I thought. And uh, you can see some of them swimming around. But, uh, unfortunately, I can't, uh, I can't do much of a water change. I can keep adding some water because they're so small yet that I can't even see, you know, exactly where they are as I'm doing the water change. So I did empty them out of the fish bowl and into the larger, uh, thing because just the, the, um, for me trying to feed them too fast, the, uh, the ammonia and stuff was building up way too fast and I actually thought I'd killed a bunch of them but we'll go up here up top because you can see better from the top how many there actually are no actually maybe you can't but they're swimming around all over the place so there is a bunch of them they are one week old today so usually about the fifth to sixth day I try to start feeding them the uh, freshly hatched brine shrimp. Like I said I was a, a little bit early on it. They probably should have started trying to eat today or tomorrow. But there is, I'm telling you there's a whole bunch of them. Just everywhere you look they're swimming around. So um, I'm going to uh, try to keep feeding these guys the... Uh, I have some frozen baby brine shrimp that I use as a backup and also have some going in my hatcheries. Um, so uh, we'll keep trying to feed these guys and if I have to I'll just keep adding water. Um, but uh, I want to get these guys big enough to where I can like shoe them to one side and do some water changes to get some of the debris off the bottom. But until then I don't, I don't want to risk sucking up a whole bunch of the babies. But uh, they're a week old today and they are doing quite nicely.